Greetings, Shawnee family, and welcome to another Fireside Chat. I know that there's a lot going on in the world today. There are days that just feel very overwhelming. But in the midst of these overwhelming days, Pastor Chuck and I have been talking about some things that we are thankful for, some ways to focus on some positive things in the world today. So, Pastor Chuck, what are some things that you're thankful for? Well, I think of two things real quick. Number one, I'm thankful for the way that our church in this quarantine time is still connecting with each other. And um, I appreciate what Pastor Kara and the tech crew are doing to, to make that possible. But people are starting to comment how thankful they are that we can connect through Zoom and other things that I don't even know how to talk about. But I'm just grateful that our church is um, still connecting together in spite of the fact that we can't meet. Another thing that I'm thankful for is uh, this um, Psalm 119 Bible study that I'm privileged to be part of. Um, it, it's just, it, it, I can just sense the group there. I can't see them, <laughs> but I can sense that there is a group of people that are trying to ask God, you know, teach me something through these these verses in Psalm 119. So that's, I'm really thankful for that. Yeah, those are just amazing things to be thankful for. That's um, why I mentioned them. I know, that's oh. great. I'm thankful for some things too. I'm thankful for the fact that even though it's a new routine for mm -hmm. us here around the house, um, we, we've been having some family time. Um, there's a quote that I saw um, that's been going around Facebook and it says, you know, that parents, this is a lot, that's a lot to be a parent and a teacher and work and um, that really it's, it's a lot. And so they, they recommend you focus on connection. And I love mm -hmm. that reminder to focus on connection. And so we've been trying mm -hmm. to do some intentional things. We've started uh, Friday night movie night at our house. Mm -hmm. um, last week, I think Alice got to pick, so we watched Frozen again. Of course. Yep, it's my turn this week. I still don't know what we're gonna watch, uh, but we'll see, it'll be a good night. Um, and then, so I'm thankful for that connection mm -hmm. with our family. I'm also just thankful for all of you to see how you've been caring for one another. It's been beautiful. Uh, you know, we've been calling folks and connecting and most of your responses are, we're doing well, how can we help others? And mm -hmm. so just your generous hearts, it's just beautiful. Um, and I'm just thankful for the ways that you care well for one another and for us. So you those know, are just I some beautiful things, yeah. yeah it, it, it isn't that hard to be a grandpa during these days. <laughs> right. Parents maybe, but... <laughs> It's really easy. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun around the house. Yeah. Um, another thing that I'm thankful for is this beautiful idea that Holly Waddle came up with. She shared on Facebook this, this thing that somebody said that Easter was going to be muted this year because we're not able mm -hmm. to gather together in person. And personally, as a pastor, I know Pastor Chuck and I are, we're a little heartbroken that we can't gather together in person on Easter. But I love this idea that Holly has that we... Um, help unmute Easter. We're going to go out in our driveways at nine o'clock in the morning and shout out, he is risen, he is risen indeed. And so um, I'll share some information in the post about that on the details for that. But we're going to unmute Easter because people need to know he is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. You know, I think we're going to do that at church too. Those we few are. of us, the few of us that gather to do the service, we'll yep. do that too. Yep, very it's good. going to be very special. And we've said before that because of our experience in Russia, the Russians, they say, he is risen, he's risen indeed. They do three times. And um, it's that, that phrase that has really become uh, precious to us because of our time in Russia. So we'll be yelling really loud. Yes, we will. Um, the other things I wanted to just make you aware of, if you need help getting connected to any of the live stream feeds, there's going to be a link in the description here with some helpful tips to get connected to the four ways that you can participate in service online. And there's also going to be a link for helpful tips on how to um, give online if you've never done that. You're also welcome to send giving in through the mail, whatever works for you. Um, so there's some, that, that video will be available as well. I'd also like to remind you that the church is able to help some people. If you know of anybody that needs some help, let us know. Um, we've helped, I think, up to now four people. Yeah. A couple of them, we're going to do some ongoing help of some kind. But, but we are helping wherever we can, and we're able to do that right now because of your faithfulness, and we're just blessed by that. So let's keep up the faithfulness so that as this gets worse, as we... They say, we're, they say it will, that we'll be able to keep up with not only our church family, but our neighbors. Yeah. Like Sadie, my friend from the dry cleaners, the lady that does the dry cleaning. Um, I gave her my number a couple days ago, said, if you ever need anything, let me know. And she mm -hmm. called me last night, yesterday afternoon. 
and said she was out of food. And so I was able to take a couple of gift cards that we have at church uh, from Aldi's. I was able to take her a couple of those. She was so grateful. I prayed with her. You see, if you run across somebody in our church family or out or beyond, we do have the ability to help a little bit. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Well, hey, we're thankful for all of you. We love you. And I wanted to ask Pastor Chuck to close us in prayer. And we'll see you next time on another Fireside Chat. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the body of Christ. And Lord, we thank you that through the centuries, the body of Christ has been used by God to make a difference in the world through times of difficulties. And so we thank you, Lord. And it, it's, it's our time now. So find us faithful. Thank you for our precious sisters and brothers. Meet their need. Keep them safe. We think especially today of Beth Guilfoyle, who is working at KU Med Center right now in the COVID-19 emergency room. So I pray for Beth. May your protection rest upon Beth and all of our other yes. medical personnel. We ask, Lord, you'd help us all to remember to lift them in our prayers and in our thoughts. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bless you. Bye.